The Better Business Bureau has launched a new online guide hoping to help people avoid losing money and personal information when they are targeted by scams. So what does it feature? Roseanne Freitas, Public Relations and Communications Manager, joins us now to discuss the BBB's Scam Prevention Guide. Good morning, Roseanne. Good morning, Christine. So this guide, this online guide, it's the first. So how did it all come about? Well, it came about because obviously we know there's so many scams, right? We see it all the time, and you and I, mm -hmm. we talk about it a lot. But one thing we did know in all of our surveys is that if people are aware, they, as, even if it's just a general awareness of it, mm -hmm. it actually helps prevent them being victimized. So with that knowledge, we just went ahead and made this tool so that way people could always stay on top of what's happening and stay educated. So what can we expect to see in this guide? So it's got some fun stuff. It's got some really cool videos, which we all like videos, right? We right. like to watch them, they're fun. They have some online quizzes. So you'll be able to figure out what do you know? Do you really know what those red flags are? And then we also have this big library of different topics that you can look at. Mm -hmm. But the one that's super cool is this risk calculator. So you can put in your sex, your age, if you're in the military, what country you live in, and it actually will help identify fraud that really impacts that demographic. Oh, that's cool. It is. Just like that. Just like that. It because takes a we, few seconds. It, it is. It's really fast. I did mine yesterday. Okay. Um, and we do know certain age groups are targeted more for one thing or the other, and the same based on our sex, and we know our military is targeted a lot. So it's great just to have that tool to be aware. Yeah, because there's all different scams, and they target all different types of demographics. So Roseanne, something for you and I, you know, female, older um, adults, what are we being targeted for? So we get a lot of those romance scams targeted at us. Um, also online purchasing. I would think online purchasing, if I put in all different age groups, would be at the top because it impacts all of us. But yes, though I do take offense a little with that older. I know, let's, you let's... looked at me, sorry. As soon as I said it, I was more talking about me, Roseanne, me. But I, no, 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 me. it's me too. Um, and But it is, it's just awareness of where what that impacts. And so, right. especially at our age, it becomes more of that romance, especially as, you know, with divorce rates and people uh, with being widowed and all of that. So just be more aware of it. I was saying older because I was thinking of millennials, so <laughs> I'll use my words wisely. <laughs> no problem. And then how can people find this guide? Because it is only online. Correct. It's okay. only online. So you go to BBB, you look up our scam tracker. Mm -hmm. And once you get to that page, you'll see at the top, it, it gives you the option of reporting a scam, also looking to see what's happening in your neighborhood. But then there'll be the scam prevention guide up mm. there as well. So go ahead and go to our website and look around and play around with it. Yeah. Because it's fun, it's interactive but it's also educational. And what I like is that you can just punch in information that you know of your loved ones. So maybe they don't have access. You can look up someone who's younger, older, male, female, whatever, and then you can pass that information on to them as well. Exactly. So we can keep everybody in the know, mm -hmm. especially for those who aren't as tech savvy. It's really good if we can help them out and under they can understand that information. Right. And it's free. And it's free. All of those resources are free. We love it. All right. Thank you. Roseanne Freitas with the BBB. Thanks for joining us again this morning. Thank you, Christine.